New at 6.30, it's a bittersweet story, a community coming together to honor a young student who lost their life way too early. ABC 15's Mike Pelton showing us the emotional tribute one year in the making. Well, 11 year old Elliot Arazo's mother tells me her son was nonverbal, but his life said a lot, and that's reflected in this garden unveiled this morning. The Elliot Arazo Garden. This garden now at Palm Lane Elementary in memory of 11 year old Elliot Arazo, who was in the special education program and who died January 11th, 2020. It may be a small garden to you, but it really symbolizes who Elliot was to me. Elliot's mom, Yasmin, tells me her son loved the outdoors and died due to complications from a seizure related to a severe form of epilepsy. He was nonverbal, but you know, his life had a lot to say. The coronavirus pandemic pushing the tribute back a year. For me, it was very overwhelming. I even told my husband, you know, Elliot couldn't talk. He was such a young, he was only 11. But for some reason, people always connected with him. I'm told Elliot loved the outdoors. And as you'll find in the garden, he also loved straws. Straws were his pride and joy. He could spot a straw a mile away in the thick of a forest. He could see a straw. Palm Lane Elementary Principal Scott Nye. It's important for us to always remember that when students leave us, whether they go to middle school, high school, they graduate, or if unfortunately we have a situation like this, that their memory and everything is still here with us. And for Elliot, that comes with pictures and pinwheels, signs and straws. No matter how small you're feeling at that moment, you really do have a big impact on people. I guess just your significance in life. That's what I want Elliot to be remembered by. And this tribute will help ensure that happens. In Phoenix, Mike Pelton, ABC 15, Arizona. Pretty beautiful perfect, tribute. Pre, yeah, I was going to say, pretty perfect memorial right there. A beautiful way to honor him. A nationwide ban.